On our Emmys 2020 Contenders panel today for casting directors, we're pleased to welcome in Victoria Thomas from The Morning Show. It's really tricky from the production writing standpoint on the blend of comedy and drama. How does that affect you when you're looking at people that you want to cast? Well, I think you have to try to cast people that have a facility for both, hopefully. And because a lot of people are acting opposite, you know, Reese and Jen, who are funny as well as dramatic themselves. You kind of have to cast actors that have a facility for both those things. What was it like for you? Because they're both producers on the project too. Does that help you as a casting director? Or, uh, uh, in what ways would it help you? Well, I mean, I think they have definite opinions and they're, they're smart women. Um, they have, uh, they produced things before, they are veterans. Um, so it's good to work with people who know talent and who have uh, who have high standards um and i guess that's also one of the maybe more difficult things about casting opposite them uh just in terms of casting actors who can be on the same level with them and i'm not talking about our major supporting actors but even just day players who come in for a day i mean it's got to be somebody who can hold their own opposite opposite those two very you know, forceful uh, women and talented women. So that that was a challenge. Them being producers, it's, I think the approval process makes it a little challenging because it's just going, getting approvals from several different people and that, that becomes challenging. Uh, but you just have to go through that process. But uh, them as actresses, um, yeah, people have to be able to, to, to com compete with them and st stand up to them in, in these scenes, so. When you were looking uh, at, the, at the very beginning, looking at the scripts, looking at how you were going to put things together, did you want to uh, think about other morning show type people that are either on the air or behind the scenes? Did you did you do some research into those types of people? Um, a little bit, but not really a lot. I mean, we kind of have all grown up looking at all those morning shows, so you kind of have a sense of who's on Channel 2 and who's on the Today Show and who's on Good Morning America. And uh, I think Carrie, our, Carrie Aaron, our showrunner, had a pretty, uh, provided pretty good material and very specific uh, uh, descriptions of the people. So I don't really feel like we had to do a lot of, uh, in terms of casting, a lot of uh, research in a sense. Steve Carell, everybody wants Steve Carell in their movie or their TV show. And he's got this... Um, it's it's a it's a, a strange mixture because he's got to be the person you could imagine being on a morning show for years and years and years and years, but also this this oil oiliness about him, uh, almost a sleaziness about him at times. Tell us about working with him. Well, he's great and has an ability to be a sympathetic yet oily guy, <laughs> which is kind of what what you want in, 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 in the character, and I'm not saying that's who he is as a, as a person, but he just, he seemed to synthesize those two things kind of very well. And, uh, and he's just, he's, he's great. Well, so many great people on this show. I wanted to ask about a couple of others. Billy Crudup, uh, who got the SAG nomination a few months ago, and uh, Billy, didn't, didn't he win at the Critics' Choice Awards? Um, I think he did. Yeah. This is not a character I've ever really seen Billy play before. This 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 um, leader of the uh, the network, the, the the studio. Tell us about working with him a little bit. I've known Billy since he first started in New York, so it's kind of fun to kind of re re see him or re, re meet him uh, at kind of this point in in his career. And I think he he said he had a take on the part, and uh, Jennifer Aniston is friends with him and was really championing Billy. And she told us that, hey, just so you know, he, he has a take on the guy. And I think anytime you have an actor as good as Billy, even if they haven't done uh, the type of part that uh, we're thinking of them for, if they kind of come to you and say, I have a take, I mean, I think you have to pay attention to that because um, they obviously have thought about it and realized in a sense that they're not necessarily who you would think for, for, for this part. But uh, I, I think we have to kind of trust that. And in the end, we, we did trust that his take on it uh, was going to be uh, pretty exciting and, and interesting, interesting to see. There's something about his smile in this series that you don't really know what he's thinking when he yeah. smiles that way. 
yeah, he's it's he's pretty he was really even at the uh, table read he was spot on. He was gun was loaded. He was he was just he he was really sharp even in 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 the first read through, and it was really exciting for all of us to see it because we hadn't really known what we were gonna get, and uh, to see him kind of come to the table read and present this character that he'd come up with, you know, his take on it was pretty exciting. Gugu and Matha Ra, when we start on the series, I don't know that we really know that she's going to be as important or maybe even what direction we're headed with her as, as, as her character. Tell us about uh, a little bit about her. Well, it was a character that I don't even think I knew that her character was going, you know, the scripts were being written as the, as the show was, was shooting, it was recast and shooting. And I think Carrie might have had an idea of where, obviously where this was going, but I hadn't read anything uh, kind of that showed uh, the ultimate uh, end of her, of, of her character. Um, but look, we just, uh, we read a lot of people for that. We uh, thought she was a fresh way to go with it. And um, she wanted to be a part of it, uh, even at the beginning of this, the, the series where her, uh, her role might not have been as big, um, but she kind of knew what was coming up and uh, she really seized, seized the moment. Yeah, when you hire a great actor or actress, th- you don't have to know exactly where it's going because you know they're gonna be able to roll, roll with the flow. Exactly, exactly, that, that, as, as we were talking about with, with, uh, with Billy as well. So. You hired one of my favorite people maybe ever in the entertainment industry for a guest role, Martin Short. Uh, which I don't think we've seen Martin Short always. He's always that over the top funny, but here he gets to show his dramatic chops. Oh, it was really great to see him play kind of a pretty kind of sleazy guy. And he, he jumped at it. I mean, it was really only two episodes, I think. And uh, he was up for taking a small role. And um, it was kind of, uh, we had him in mind from the beginning. And uh, it's just another kind of Steve Carell type, casting where you take somebody comedic and uh, show a darker side of them. Oh, there's nothing better this whole past TV season than the two of them playing off of each oh, other. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> you've also been a casting society. Um, you've actually been a winner, right? Uh, Hidden Figures and Straight Outta Compton? Uh, yes. What, what, how did, what did that mean to you to get those two wins from your peers? Well, I mean, you know, I get to go to the ceremony and see everybody. We get to have a drink and <laughs> pat ourselves on the back and and kind of celebrate what we um, what we all do and what we work really hard at, and uh, so it's always nice to uh, be acknowledged by by my fellow casting directors. One last question: When this show debuted, it was among the first for Apple TV Plus. Was there any additional pressure that you felt or the producers felt to to really launch an entire new streaming service? Not really. I think we felt the normal pressure you feel when you just try want to try to make something good and, and make your first day of shooting and, you know, just produce a good, produce a, a good show. Um, I, there was a lot, a lot of eyes on us, I think, because it was uh, an early uh, Apple um, uh, production, but in the end, you just have to go and do your work and, and forget about all that and just try to make the best show you can. So that's what we, that's what we tried to do. 